Good morning. Mm hmm. You said you were really, really tired after your journey and you fell asleep while we were talking. Hold on, chill out. You're, you're fine. You're good. I'm not mad and it's not embarrassing. Everyone needs to sleep, so I can't help but respect the fact that you prioritized my country, not yours, before your bodily needs. First time sleeping in an elf's lap? First time for anyone's lap? For real? Well, how does it feel? Embarrassing, right? Huh? You're surprised I didn't kill you? What? So you remember how I was screaming at you before you fell asleep? Uh, I was wrong. And I'm sorry for doing that. You falling asleep was actually the exact point in time where I realized you're probably the only human out there that cares and that's trying to make a change. And I mocked you and generally treated you like shit, even though you're actually helping us. Are you comfy in there? Well, it's just that we're having quite a serious conversation, but your head's still in my lap, and when you're looking up at me like that... Sorry, never mind. Um, that wasn't meant to be a roundabout way to tell you to get up. It felt pretty good for me, too. Uh, uh, you know, when there's just the right amount of pressure on you that it doesn't feel uncomfortable, it's more like a pressing, comforting sensation. Oh my god. Here goes my great habit of ranting about anything to people I just met. I'm so sorry. Wait, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, okay, now we're talking. Anyway, aren't you tired? You slept for a good while, but that's coming from someone who was sitting in one place fully conscious, so maybe to me it seemed like a longer time. You're used to few hours of sleep being a princess? Wow. You just don't stop surprising me. Well, they say honesty is the best policy and I'd like to keep this relationship built on trust, so I'm just gonna tell you. When you came in and you genuinely started thinking about the well-being of my country, I understood that, but the fact that you fell asleep and landed onto an angry guy's lap, like you don't have worries in this world, I thought you were a massive airhead. But if it's true that you're sometimes missing sleep because you're diligently working on your duties, I'm impressed and you have my utmost respect. <laughs> Looks like we're already getting along with each other. Because I also fucking hate rulers who don't do shit. Hmm, enough negativity though. After all, not sure if you remember this, but we sent all of them out and I told my guys to get your guys some drinks. I gave them exactly one rule, do not fucking murder each other. So I really hope there's not dead bodies all over the floor. Uh, hey, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Can you pinch my cheek real quick? I don't... Wait, you just had a nap. I'm gonna pinch yours. Yep. Looks like it's as real as it gets. Welcome, our leader. Ah, uh, good day to you too, human princess. My name is Greg. So have you finished all the political talk? Then come on and enjoy the party. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. That was Greg. 
he's kind of a bum when it comes to addressing someone appropriately, so I hope you're not offended by him, but he really doesn't mean any harm. What? You love how warm and casual he was about it? Oh, so you're smart and down to earth. That's rare in a princess. Anyway, you heard him. Let's just enjoy this. Shall we dance? Oh, come on, don't be a scaredy cat now. This is not some pretense, wannabe, dignified moment for the royalty. Look around, people are having fun with each other. It's even better than I expected. Elves and humans drinking together like there's no tomorrow. I love it. If I'm not scared. Yeah, I was afraid that the humans would snap and start killing us, but vice versa too. Yeah, but you can't look at this and tell me that you're still worried. And even if there are still some doubtful people left, I think we're setting a good example. Huh. What was that about, I can't dance, look at you. We don't even have to follow the standard dance moves and you still know what to do. So I'm leading you, huh? Alright then, whatever works for you. Hey, did you just say that? You're pretty shameless for a princess, aren't you? Look, there's the blush. Aren't you engaged to anyone? No. No boyfriend, no husband, no nothing? Hmm, pretty rare to see, not gonna lie. But I like your big hands on my body guiding me is pretty straightforward even for a guy like me. Oh, consider this interaction a confirmation of our cooperation as countries and friendship as people. You agree? Great. So, just in case, if you would hesitate in the future about if you should contact me and ask for help, do it. I won't forget your thoughtfulness easily. Yes, even if war breaks out, I can promise you this right here, right now. If the other influential noble family starts a civil war, consider us, meaning every single elf, on your side. Wait, for real? You wanna do that for us too? I thought you were just gonna, you know, clear the air with us so we don't attack you and spread the message in your kingdom, but... You'll definitely help us? That's reassuring. Thanks. Where am I dragging you? You'll see. No, it's fine, trust me. No, it's fine, trust me. <clears throat> Silence! <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Listen, elves and humans. From today, your human kingdom and our elven kingdom are allies. If you get into war, we help. If we get into war, you help. Also, just for the record, because looking at how the party is going, you don't need to hear this, but don't discriminate the other. Just because we have funny ears or a stronger connection with nature doesn't make us not people. And I think it's amazing that we are the first people to ever try to cross this bridge and close this rift between the two races. And speaking of closing the rift, I have something to say to the human princess. I love you. I'm, I'm glad it's mutual. Uh, what are you staring at? Get the music started! Oh, <laughs> Greg is back at it again.
So come and enjoy the party while it's at the 